Hey guys, what's happening? Choosing, uh, excuse me, choosing the right ERP depends on your business size, budget, and integration needs. Let's break it down. If you want to talk about Microsoft Dynamics 365 versus Odo, we're gonna talk which one is best. Okay. So as for Microsoft Dynamics 365 or 365, it's best for enterprise and Microsoft ecosystem built for mid to large enterprise with complex operations, uh, advanced analytics, power BI and AI driven insights work seamlessly with office 365 teams, Azure and power platform, right? Strong CRM features alongside finance, supply chain and HR models. And it can be expensive, right? If you want to try it out, you can click see plans and pricing, right? Uh, with per user li uh, license licensing, but offers enterprise level tools. As for Odo, right? Best for small to mid sized businesses and open source flexibility. Choose, um, basically, they have the feature of choosing only the apps you need, like CRM, sales, inventory, HR, etc. Intuitive UI with drag and drop features, right? Open source version is free. Paid plans are affordable, okay? So it is cheap. And you have, and they have the third party integrations, you know, like. Odo can connect with payment gateways, e-commerce platforms, and more, okay? And they have cloud and on-premise, offers flexibility uh, for development. Which one wins? Choose Dynamics 365 if you're a large business that needs deep automation, AI, Microsoft integrations. Choose Odo if you are a small, uh, smaller company or startup needing cost-effective modular ERP customization. For SMBs looking to scale, Odo or small uh, management, um, small uh, businesses, Odo is great starting point. But for enterprise needing power, Dynamics 365 dominates. So let me know in the comments if this video helped you. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We will definitely see you in the next one.